away from the theme parks <laughs> at that right. time of the year. Dre, thanks. 934. All right, so tonight's Chargers Chiefs matchup marks Fox's last Thursday night game of the season. That's right. It should be a great game between two of the league's top teams. So, Dr. Barbecue came up with a recipe that is sure to score big with just about any sized appetite. People from Kansas City love to brag about their barbecue. And did you know that LA, not France, is the home of the famous French dip? I'm Dr. Barbecue. In honor of the Chargers playing the Chiefs tonight on Fox's Thursday Night Football, we combined a classic dish from each team's city and cooked up a barbecue French dip sandwich. Everybody knows people in Kansas City love brisket, but in L.A. they have a cool place called Felipe's that's the home of the French dip sandwich. They started it all there. Now to barbecue it up, we're going to add some barbecue sauce ingredients to the au jus, and I'm going to top it with grilled onions. Now I chose a red onion for this because it's kind of sweet. I heat some oil in a pan, medium heat. I'm also going to add two cloves of garlic that I'm going to crush. All right, my onions look great. That's how far you want to cook them down. That's perfect. Now it's time to start to work on my dip. I'm going to make sort of a barbecue sauce first, and then I'll make it into an au jus. This is jalapeno jelly. Ketchup. This is smoked paprika, granulated onion, granulated garlic, cider vinegar. I like cider vinegar. All right, the jelly's about melted. It's warmed up now. Can add a little bit of salt and some black pepper. So it's a barbecue sauce now, but if I add this, I'm going to turn it into my French dip jus. This is beef stock. Now I'm just going to bring it back to a simmer, and it'll be ready to go. The center piece of my barbecue French dip, of course, is the brisket. You can't do it without that. If you don't have brisket, you can go to the local barbecue restaurant and buy some. You can use roast beef if you have to. If you make this barbecue jus, it'll still be pretty tasty. When you slice a whole brisket, you got to make sure you're going against the grain. Look how juicy that is. That looks great. That ought to be enough for one nice sandwich. All right, I've got all my components ready. It's time to assemble my barbecue French dip sandwich. I've got these little hoagie rolls over here. Those are pretty nice, but I want a more substantial sandwich. Plus, it's a French dip, so I got some French bread. And now I'm ready to assemble it. I'm going to lay my brisket on there. All right, two slices would be a nice portion for most people, but I'm Dr. Barbecue. I'm going with that third slice. Now, that's a beautiful brisket sandwich with grilled onions on there. I made this beautiful barbecue sauce au jus. That's it. Barbecue French dip. Normally, we like to pair our dishes with local craft beers, but since it's a French dip, we thought we'd get fancy and pick a real French beer, Cronenborg Blanc. Its smooth finish is a perfect fit for this tasty barbecue French dip. Now, that's a combination that'll make you go, ooh-la-la. -la. I'm Dr. Barbecue. Enjoy the game.